If you travel across the U.S., you will notice near many cities a water tower. These are structures that store water for the people in the city. The water is essential for life and needs to be stored for later use. In a similar fashion, plant and animal cells have storage structures called vacuoles. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Let's take a look at the vacuoles found in plant and animal cells. Although both plant and animal cells have vacuoles, they vary greatly in their shape. On the left, you'll notice that the vacuole for the plant is very large, and there's one central vacuole. In fact, the central vacuole may take up between 30 and 70% of the plant cell's volume. In animal cells, the vacuoles are smaller, but you have more of them. The number of vacuoles depends on the type of animal cell. In general, the functions of the vacuole include the following. Isolating materials that might be harmful or a threat to the cell. Store and contain waste products. Store water. Maintain internal turgor pressure for plant cells. The turgor pressure is the force that pushes the cell membrane against the cell wall. If you have seen a plant wilt, the turgor pressure is very low. Exporting unwanted substances from the cell. The central vacuole in plant cells allows the plant to support structures such as leaves and flowers due to the turgor pressure of the central vacuole. Vacuoles are also found in fungal cells, protists, and some bacteria. So in summary, when you hear the term vacuole, think storage. Storage of waste and water in cells. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.